In this video, we're gonna be designing a really cool sci-fi decal. Let's go. Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and let's get started. So if you're a beginner and you're confused about everything in Blender, then go ahead and grab our free course, Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender. It will teach you, you know, everything you need to know about basics and more. And like I said, it's free, link in the video description. So we're gonna start with a plane like this, Control I apply scale, we're gonna inset this, so I for inset, and we can create a, you know, reasonably thin frame here, and we're gonna drop it down E, and what we're gonna do now is we're going to um, battle this, so Control um, B, and now what you need to do is press C to clamp it and create, you know, this kind of a situation, go really crazy on this one, you wanna have a really smooth uh, bevel here. And these uh, edges here as well, we're gonna bevel them a little bit, just lower down the number of segments, don't go crazy on that. And now what we need to do is we clean that. But before we clean that, we're gonna cut this with a box cutter, so press K for knife, slice it, so we're gonna have this edge in the middle. And what we can do now, we can actually clean this here. So select it with Control, press F, select that with Control and press, uh, you know, F here and we're going to our tech studio side done. And also we need to go with three to clean it because when you use clamp, you're gonna have double edges here in the, on the top, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up a bit because it's a little bit too deep, okay? So press F and then GZ and bring it up a bit, okay? We're gonna insert it a little bit deeper like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand this by Control plus, okay? So Control plus. And we're going to go to edge mode and go here to select and uh, loops and um, boundary loops. I'm going to set a shortcut here to shift tilde. So shift tilde and then X and dissolve. It will dissolve the edges and create a perfect inset here, kind of like a taper. Um, uh, it's going to basically allow us to bake this a bit better. So when you're baking something at 90 degrees, so like these, these walls here, you know, the, these walls here on the side are perpendicular to, um, you know, to the base, so they kind of align with the camera view, you may get some pulling. So if you're creating decals, always try to create some tapers. We're gonna create a bevel here, kind of sub one. It's gonna offset really nicely, awesome, cool. So let's grab that and we're going to, you know, shift curve extract this up, not too high, something like that. What we're gonna do is we're going to uh, create screws in the bottom. So, you know, let's grab just, you know, uh, two, uh, two circles here and we're going to uh, cut this. So run the circle here, just press G and move it in space and we're going to mirror to the other side. There we go. And then we're gonna create some kind of opening here. So let's grab a uh, square and uh, let's create some cut here like this. And press B and uh, you know, maybe actually I'm gonna create it in here. So slice this like that and just go down here shift t not shift t to taper and we're gonna taper it as well so it's tapered again it's gonna be a bit better we could apply bevel here if you apply bevels you know you're gonna be uh, quite generous with bevels because reasons so nine segments at least at least six but nine is better okay and this should do uh, we could actually create you know uh, sharpen this and we could create a chamfer here. So create a chamfer and press C to unclamp it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to this menu and fix this problem by turning off the loop slide and then I'll take to the other side with mesh machine. Cool. PG. This one also, you know, could be uh, chamfered because why not? That was a bit huge, but uh, make sure just it doesn't overshoot. Okay. It's nice and supple, that's cool. Awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab this edge here, okay? And we're gonna rip it off. All right, so Q and uh, curve extract. We're gonna bring it up here, okay? And we're going to scale it. So scale this in like this. Let's scan this on X axis a little bit. Kind of like that. Cool, a little bit more. Okay, and then scale it a bit more here. So it kind of fits nicely. There we go. This should do. And we're going to uh, apply scale here and we're going to go to mesh tools with hard ups and curve extract and press S to smooth it. Okay. 
I'm gonna grab these two and then G Y and move them in here. Okay, somewhere here. And we're going to convert this to mesh, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're going to close this and here, press F. And we're going to curve it. So now here we're gonna grab this face and go to local view, okay? And we're going to press T for T panel and we're gonna create a hold shift and right click here to move the cursor. We're gonna click on the, this uh, spin tool and choose axis till you see the axis here. And we're going to spin this a little bit here on this axis, so like 45 degrees here. And then we're gonna move the cursor somewhere here. I don't know if it's not too close, but we will try. Oh, I select the face again, right? And spin it again like this. It's a little bit close, but you know this could actually work. Uh, create something like that, and then press Ctrl 1 to its, uh, you know, subdivision. Create a loop here and another, lo uh, another loop here. So I for inset. We're going to, you know, uh, all text with the side and Bob Janko. Okay, so now we got this uh, kind of a situation. This is a little bit too dense, so what we can do is, you know, grab every second one, all right, to, you know, ease off the um, the transition here a bit more. I think it's a little bit too dense still, so I'll do that. Should be better. There we go. And then all text, and you're done. Okay, awesome. So we got that going on, and I think Control 2 is going to be better because this needs to be really smooth for decals, okay? So here we're going to add a cube, okay? Scale it, and we're going to extrude it and move it somewhere here on the y-axis. Make it a little bit larger, okay? And not so tall. We'll drop it down here, okay? And let's grab a loop here and uh, scale this and extrude it up. Okay, and we're going to scale this on uh, y axis and you know, bevel these, but we're gonna apply scale. This one is a little bit too high, I think. There we go. Bevel this, okay. And we can also bevel this and bevel this. There we go. And we could also, you know, bevel this, right? It's gonna be nice and smooth. Here we could grab these two and create a similar, you know, similar design here in the front, like this. And we could have um, another cube here. So, cube, scale it, scale it up, move it here and scale it some more drop it down like this okay a little bit lower cool and we're gonna cut it into an interesting shape so let's grab an angle we're gonna cut it here like this and uh maybe a bit like this here mirror to the other side sharpen this and let's just create uh, some bevels here Maybe not as crazy. Here too. One here and there you go. That's cool. And we're gonna have to combine this. So, you know, modifiers and uh, booleans union. And we can actually move this, you know, this um, cutter. A little bit lower so it's not on the bevel here and then we can sharpen it again apply the bevel i think it's gonna be better there we go now it's working cool so you see it's nice and supple we're gonna have two another you know two screws in here one let's see here on the top so we could enable dots hold control and grab one here it's gonna be in the middle and blender's gonna crush it's a good thing we saved one more time and then gy why why there we go here it's a bit too big you know so, something like that cut it in and uh we could actually shift t that and we're going to go to edit mode and shift d y it's gonna repeat that okay so we don't have to cut it again there we go that looks pretty decent now this could be moved a little bit higher to be honest or could be cut out in here uh, but what we could also do is Actually, we could leave it like that. Uh, why not? The 
this is a little bit too deep though so maybe we could do is we could cut it in here you know like this this wouldn't be a terrible idea yeah it's gonna be better and simply you know maybe bevel this here like this um this could work in all takes and you don't okay there's some kind of a problem here i think with a bevel so three to clean it and everything should be peachy okay now here with this one uh, we could create some uh, grooves here so just cut it like this right cut through shift click and gz and you know move it kind of up here let's do that and solidify this okay it's gonna be easy peasy japanese you know what i mean you don't want headaches we still get headaches in here you see so move it higher just remove all the headaches and you're good to go right the bevel is too big you know either increase the bevel or increase the number of segments okay this is also going to help so increase the number of segments is like some crazy number it doesn't matter because it's a decal so you know who cares right and uh unfortunately these got uh, mirrored in a very ugly way so we need to fix them okay they were not in the middle so control plus and f and we're gonna shift one and here two control plus f and shift one and then you know press three to clean it we need something else in here we really need this in the middle so what we're gonna do is move the cursor to an edge and then we're gonna move a cylinder here we're gonna scale it down and before we do that let's go 40 we're gonna scale it down okay i'm gonna move it here and difference okay and then we're gonna recover this and by the way let's do this okay and then we're going to uh, select everything shift dy and move it in here and uh you know and this should do right they're a bit too big so probably what we're gonna do we're gonna scale them so i have a scroll go to edit mode and scale them on individual origins it's gonna be more manageable i think that's better this one is coming out here which is not ideal but what we could do we could move this whole thing you know to the front a bit okay so uh move this one to the front so gy and move it to the front what we could do is here grab that through occlude right b and gy and move it up right not a big problem then all x you know what i mean so always adjust your stuff to your needs important okay and uh, you know this could be this could be also cut here in the front like this okay just i'm just saying you know could be some kind of a cut here just for fun yeah here on the top we could even you know um shift ball apply this shift s to geometry and scale it in like that um and it's gonna have to be symmetrical there we go okay cool and this also needs to be symmetrical across that so there you go perfect and i think we arrived now what we need is uh, we need to put some screws here we can do it with git ops so wait a minute where's my git ops asset loader there we go and uh, let's grab the uh, master zeon inserts we're gonna grab these bolts Okay, we're gonna remove this uh, name. I don't even know why it's here. I honestly don't know. Select all and alt H because reasons, and then here and remove all the mats because we don't need them. We're gonna scale it down, move it in here. We're not gonna really be aligning this perfectly because no one gives a shit, but uh, you know, you could if you wanted to. Move it in here like that, and then Shift D and do this, and then. You know you can just mirror it to the other side now important part okay we probably need some bolt here okay so what we need is um is a cylinder okay so let's grab a cylinder and uh we're going to a uh, 40 is enough i think sharpen ry90 and uh, scale it in okay and move it in here and okay make it smaller and scale this and now we need to kind of make it really small so it kind of hides in you know what i mean right and then sharpen and then we're going to uh, apply scale and bevel it and then alt x okay and then it's kind of you know sticks out here makes sense all right cool
sticks out a little bit up, which is not ideal. Technically, this should be lower, guys, you know. We could, uh, hang on, what the fuck happened here? Didn't sink them. Technically, what we should do is maybe make this deeper, okay? So, select the, uh, select the face here. And GZ, and just, you know, drop it down and just scale it a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna grab this whole thing with all the screws and everything, right? And, uh, and this, and just drop it down, okay? It's gonna be better, right? Just make sure that the, um, the, the bottom here, so this part is actually encompassing this entire mechanism, otherwise it's gonna be a beef. So here GZ and drop it down, maybe scale it a little bit, drop it lower, there we go. Now should be working as intended, so hopefully, right? We could even drop this one lower, you know, so drop it down here so it doesn't pull through this. Remember, decals are illusions, okay, so. All right, cool, so now uh, let's just save it, right? Now what we need to do is we need to determine, oh, uh, our screws are gone, hang on. Have a scroll, there we go, GZ, and drop it down. Boom, right, also, we could have a chamfer here though, you know, with, uh, what you call this thing? With mesh machine, right? And this could work now. These are a little bit too close, you know. We could just move them with the screws, kind of offset them a little bit to the top. You can have a stronger connection here, so stronger, structurally stronger, you know, uh, design. Cool. So now what we need to decide is which, what, what colors we want for what, right? So we want to have uh, identical colors for most of them. The problem is that each of these is a different bevel. By the way, this needs to be beveled also. Control 1 to apply a subdivision and bevel this just a little bit, okay? So you do need to bevel on that. Just don't overdo it, okay? See what I mean? Bevel here and also here. Control 1. Well, Control 1 and, you know, Control 1 here. We do need the bevel, so okay, and we're gonna select that, select that, control C and copy modifiers. Okay, now remember to add weighted normals everywhere. And also it's important to weighted normals here too, to flex the weighted normals, but I think we're gonna be good. Okay, cool. So now weighted normals here too, and here as well. I think we're good to go, and this one as well, of course. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, awesome. So we, I think we're good to go. So now we need to combine these into one. So we're gonna create another scene, full copy, and I'll tell you why. Because we need to bake bevels, okay? So here we need to bake bevels, right? So apply bevels and subdivision, okay? Here, apply subdivision and apply bevels. It's important. Here, apply uh, bevels. Actually, let's let's just run uh, operations multiply, and we're gonna apply the bevel. Okay, here we need to apply uh, everything and bevels. It's important, and I will tell you in a minute why. Here to apply subdivision. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Right, so now select all of them and control R this one too. Right, so. Uh, Smart apply and apply bevel. Now, the reason why we're applying bevels, okay, is because when you combine different objects with different bevel sizes, you will end up with an absolute fucking mess. So, control J to one object. So, now, right, this should be one object. If it isn't, let's do it again, okay, uh, okay, and this one too, right? So, control J, there we go. Now it's one object, okay. That's important. And then we're going to select that, shift select that one, and we're going to go to um, end panel, go to decal machine, and go to baking, and we're going to uh, bake a simple decal subset at times two, uh, resolution 256. It's fine because we are just trying it out. And uh, just a default, so we get 512 is fine, and create a subset decal, and we're going to bake this. The reason why we join these, because when we're going to create a subset decal, all this interior is going to be in one color, 
and the exterior is going to be the landing plane of the decal. So it's going to land on the geo and it's going to inherit the color or mat of the decal outside the decal and the interior is going to be able to change your, you know, your stuff manually. So now let's grab a sphere. It's important to control three to apply subdivision level three. Control M and apply a mat. Let's go to uh, here. Collapse this junk and grab this one and uh, let's go here. Let's make this sphere. Let's make this sphere a bit bigger. So something like that and then G and hover here and D and project it right. Alt project it now. This looks clean. Let's see if everything looks clean. I mean, you're looking at you know low resolution, so don't worry about this. You're gonna see tiny pools here and there. What we're looking for is breakages of surface in terms of unevenness and, and uh, shading problems. Also, pools. This is a typical pool. Uh, it literally pulls down at this geometry here. So we're gonna have to fix that. Okay. So. Let's see how we can fix this. So let's go to uh, Geo View here. And one of the ways of fixing it would be to um, to grab this uh, here. So um, the uh, this element, press P in selection and separate it from GZ and just drop it down. Okay, and then join it again. We're gonna rebake it. All right. So select this one inside. Shift select this one and. Let's create a subset decal. Okay, let's test it. So let's grab that. And uh, what you want to do usually, you want to shift D that so the original decal stays here. Because if this one is okay, you're going to, you know, you can very easily save this one to your folder of decal. So let's go here and try that. And D and Alt, project, move your mouse and click. Now let's see that. Uh, it looks really clean though. There's a little bit of a pulling here. You see that on the edges? This could be a parallax. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a parallax and fix it. But before we do that, let's just go around and see if everything is peachy because, you know, that's very important. Cool. I think it was fine. So press D, let's just and D and we can fix the parallax. Now, if you go completely up, it's going to be flat. So, you know, go down till you're going to start seeing distortions. Okay. So a little bit down, right? A little bit down. And I think this should do. And never preview decals in the orthographic view because you're gonna, you know, see absolute garbage. This is pretty cool. So now we can grab this um, decal here, press D and match. And let's scroll. Ooh, that looks juicy, man. Oh, that looks juicy. I really like it. And there you go. You got a really cool detail for your models you can you know slap it really easy now remember that this sphere is two meters tall so this decal is massive here you're not going to be using decals in that size so now the way to save your decal is very easy okay you go here uh you click on the decal and you'll see this option here um popping i got a folder called test but you can create a new folder here uh in your decal library and all you need to do is basically add to decal library, okay? So you can also add decal name if you want to. If you don't want to, it's going to be created automatically. And that's going to be in your decal library. Now, don't be surprised. The decals added to your library are going to be smaller when you're going to add them. They're going to be an actual size. So let's go to test. It's here, you see under test. So let's click that and boom, there's your actual decal. And it's going to be, you know, in your library. So boom, looks very good looks really good let's match it boom looking sexy all right well thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one